Hello and welcome to a brand new video. I'm so loud, you scared the s*** out of me. You scare me sometimes. Hello and welcome to a brand new video with myself, Blaine. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to stay fit forever or is it even possible if videos like this interest yourself then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below it will work it will turn red to gray if you haven't done it yet it will still obviously be red so how to stay fit forever i've been asked this question on facebook so i thought i would share what i think i would actually answer back to him the chap's name was called greg i've got it on my laptop here just so i can uh, actually read out the right message so he said a couple years back i lost about three stone with a restricted diet fair play grinding with a restricted diet and moderate exercise but i found it hard to maintain don't we all my friend it's tough to find something sustainable well i ain't gonna lie to you that is the hardest part of all this fun and games i did say to him i would do a video on this so greg if you can if you're watching this video i hope you find this useful for yourself first of all congratulations for losing three stone at one point that's a lot of weight like a quarter of my weight i think that's insane so this video is designed to help people that have maybe lost a lot of weight and then kind of rebounded and gained it all and actually and then some a little bit more weight i'm going to tell you how to prevent that in this video so what i put together is six tips that helped me stay relatively fit throughout seven years of when I began to where I am today. So let's jump straight into the list. I created habits for myself. It's definitely the least fun one of the points for sure. Habits are basically formed in 20 to 30 days. And let's just say you ha you're you slowly creating a habit. That's a good one, say just like drinking water, exercising every single day a little for a little bit and just kind of piles on up and up and up like that. That habit will eventually form and get a lot easier over time. And the longer you go into a habit, the harder it is to come out of the habit again. So right now your habits might not be best suited to try and stay fit and healthy for a long period of time. So all you need to slowly do is change the habits into healthier ones. So tip number two is to actually eat healthy food, well, duh. but ones that you actually enjoy eating. There's so many people that think you have to eat foods that you don't like. I don't eat any food that I don't like unless I'm trying it and it was disgusting. It doesn't have to be 100% healthy. I say to try and eat 80% of the foods that go in your mouth that are healthy and then 20% aren't as healthy as options that they could be. If this video is helping you out so far with the tips I'm giving you, like the video, this helps to spread it out, spread it? Spread it out to more people. Over the long term, this is so much more sustainable than someone that's trying to eat 100% healthy all the time. Trust me, you will crack, okay? If you have no cheat days, no bad foods, you will be craving sugars like a, no, you like something. I don't know, like something. If you've tried that, let me know below if you've, if you've struggled with that. And these all kind of conjoin because tip number three is to not call what you're eating a diet. Even if it's a good diet and you enjoy the food you're eating, like we said before, and you call it a diet, you will, you will just think that you're on a diet, which is foods that you really don't like. As soon as someone says, yeah, I'm going on a diet, they're not happy when they say that, unless they've been doing it for a long time and they're lying to themselves. Just call it, you're on a, a brand new meal plan or you're on a journey of weird meals that you've never had it can it could be called anything just don't call it a diet all right seriously it just sounds horrible to yourself and eventually you'd be like i don't even like diets no one likes diets i'm literally sweating well in my in here i don't know That's so weird so tip number four is make exercise fun again i can guarantee you a lot of people hate exercise and it's nine times out of ten because they're doing things they don't like like the foods that, that they don't like you're obviously not going to eat that food you're obviously not going to do running if you hate running or biking or swimming you, you know i meant cycling but yes if you enjoy going to the gym throwing a lot of heavy weight around safely of course then do that if you don't like doing that and you like watching people on youtube with exercise uh, with a workout on youtube because you just like being in your own space and no one's seeing what you're doing, do that. That's a lot better than doing nothing. Moral of the story is, if you enjoy what you are doing at the moment and it's still pushing you hard, so you're getting gains, if it's too easy, then you need to make it harder for yourself. Okay, it can't be too fun. Exercise can only be too fun. Blood, sweat and tears. These are the three things that you're doing whilst enjoying it. Whatever you enjoy doing as exercise, do that thing and work around that. I love the gym, okay? But I understand people don't like the gym. That's why I try to make this 28 day plan I'm doing 
for people that are stuck at home that are stuck at home at the minute and they need something to do and they don't know where to start. If you don't know where to start and how to make it fun for yourself, I've made a whole video regarding this, which I'll link up here. Just press on that and it'll give you ideas on how to make it fun for you. So tip number five, and I'm gonna refer back to Greg, what he said here. So he actually said, he lost about three stone with a restricted diet and moderate exercise. Okay, so the main bit is restricted diet. So tip number five is don't restrict yourself on diets. If you restrict foods from yourself, the first food you will want is the food that you're restricting. It's just fact, I've done that myself. I even restricted myself so hard, I started wanting foods that I've never even eaten before. It doesn't make any sense, but it just happens. So yes, I understand Greg's pain where he was actually on a restricted diet. Yes, it worked. You lost three stone. It, I think it kind of worked a bit. If he was trying to lose weight, it definitely worked. But he probably might have put on three, four, five stone now. I don't know exactly, but he's obviously looking for something a lot more sustainable. And that's how you make it more sustainable. Do not restrict yourself on a diet. How many people have you seen that have lost weight and then put it all back on again? Do you know anyone like that? Comment below if this has happened to you and tell me your story. Share it down below because it's interesting to see how many people this actually happens to. Like the video so they don't do a rebound effect and gain more weight than they ever have lost in their life. That was deep. That was deep. That was deep. And the last tip on my little notey pad is try to add a healthy and fit lifestyle into your life. Don't take away the fun part of your life and try and replace it with the fit and healthy lifestyle. Basically just plug in, just plug in being healthy and fit to your happy life now. Do not turn your happy life into an unhappy life by replacing all the foods you love and all the spending time with your friends and going out and eating. You can still do that. You can still do this, okay? Just don't rip your happiness away from being fit and healthy, okay? I'm happy, I'm happy, and I think I'm fit and healthy to an extent. I don't restrict myself too much unless I'm obviously doing like a, a 28 day challenge. It's supposed to be hard, it's a challenge. But other than that, day to day, I won't, I, I never restrict myself from the foods and stuff like that. I just create habits that are healthy. I try to make exercise as fun as possible and I 100% never eat unhealthy food. No. And I 100% don't eat everything 100% healthy. Okay, that's just a fact. I eat something that I enjoy every single day, 100%. I make sure that I compensate in other ways, okay? I don't go, oh, I can never drink alcohol again. I never do that to myself. So there you go. That is the six tips that I'm gonna give to you. And Greg, thank you so much for the question. I really hope you do get some value from this video and I hope it helps you in the long run. Please let me know if you do give it a go again. Try to lose free stone again, healthily, of course. Let me know, I'm more than happy to help you um actually sustain your results okay with that being said if you haven't already yet hit the subscribe button down below this will turn it from red to gray also if you actually got some value into this video hit the like button down below this helps the algorithm share it with more people so they can actually stop themselves from rebounding stop themselves from having this issue i'll see you guys in the next video see you there by the way 15 days in we got some gain. Make sure you stick around for the 28 day challenge. It will soon be released and then you guys can give it a go. 100% free on YouTube, coming soon to my channel. Stick around.